welcome to the world of Maruku Baits. Today, I'm with Rich Bedder. Rich Bedder is absolutely empty in this lake with a brand new bait. What's it called, Rich? EFG 161. EFG 161, the most technically advanced bait that Maruku's probably ever made. But it's got some special characteristics and it really is geared up for catching a lot of fish in cold water conditions. What sort of fish we got here? We've got a carp on, boy. We've got a carp, okay. I would think that was only in the water for what, 10 or 15 seconds? 10 or 15 seconds, yeah, boy. it's that good. Oh yeah, that's a pretty fish. That's a nice fish. We know the baits work, but understanding why they work is the key to the success of catching lots of fish. So let's look at the science behind EFG 161. The FG161 is going to be the most popular method bait ever seen in this country. And the question is why? Well, the Maruku scientists have been very busy. This is a refinement of a bait that is the number one selling bait in China. Millions of anglers can't be wrong. But what's special about it? Well, it's got 30 components, main ingredients in there. We've said it's going to be really good in cold water, cold water conditions. And of course, this is down to the size of the attracting molecules. They are very, very small. As we all know, as water gets colder, it gets denser. So these molecules and the attractors and the key triggers have really got to flow. The other thing, of course, with the combination of all these ingredients, we get a controlled breakdown speed. And that is critical for method fishing. And that's what we'll look at at a moment, in a moment in the fish tank to see how it actually works. So it's a two to one mix. It's straightforward. Do not bother with a riddle. I've said this before, it's a waste of time. You do not need a riddle. Mix it just before you go fishing. Do not mix it the night before because there's several components needed in a bait to make it attract and catch fish. Obviously noise is one of them and this bait is very, very active. So we don't want to lose the noise element when we mix it. I'd much rather mix two lots during a five hour match than one lot. And of course only mix what you need. We've got this control breakdown speed and we've got these key attractors. It's the key triggers that this is all about. And don't forget, Maruku baits are designed to catch fish, not feed fish. I said that EFG 161 was very special. There's four main ways of using it. It will be brilliant in a method. It'll be outstanding in a feeder. We can ball it which will be ideal for pole fishing, particularly for silverfish as it gets colder, and it will make an incredible paste. Let's just have a look at the differences. This really, really is simple. Just look at that for an absolutely perfect mix that's gonna come out the method mold. So first of all, it won't stick to the moulds. We've specifically made it that way. I said it's got a controlled breakdown speed. What does that mean? Well, what we don't want it to do is all of it break down at the same speed. If I drop this into this tank down at this end, you'll get a very good idea what I'm talking about. First of all, you'll notice instantly, it's at the bottom, we get this quick, quick reaction. But slowly, the rest of the particles start to break down. And of course, this is what we want in a cold water condition. Also, we don't want a big active cloud. Don't forget, it's winter, it's specifically made for its cold. We don't want fish swimming into this, getting lime bites all the time. And there it is, absolutely full of attractors, low feed content, and it really is gonna be devastating and very, very simple to use. I also said to you, it would be brilliant for feeder fishing. This is a two to one mix, a standard mix, okay? And this is what happens if we want it to break down on the two to one mixture. Again, you can see, it's a fairly fast mix. You're in total control. If you want to have a slower breakdown speed, all you've got to do is add a little bit more water. So you're in total control. But the point being, if you mix it at two to one to start with, you can replicate, duplicate that mix any time during the match. I also said to you, it makes an incredible pace bait. This really will be devastating. 
Just pick up your paste, nothing special. Now bear in mind, this is the two to one mixture. If you wanted it to break down slower than this, you're gonna go up to two and a half, three to one. I'll hold this off the bottom and you can actually see what I'm talking about. Now look at that for an active bait. Absolutely incredible. Your hook's in the middle. You can see that control breakdown speed now. It's still slowly breaking down. That hook is right in the center. But that was two to one. Two and a half to one, three to one, four to one. It's going to be a slower breakdown speed. And of course, like I said to you, we can ball it. Dependent now on the amount of water and the squeeze, you're gonna have a really versatile bait. If it was four feet deep, as you can see, I've squeezed this pretty hard, okay? Let's see if we can drop him in and see what happens. Four feet of water. There we go, we've just hit the bottom. And as you can see, absolutely incredible. The fish, I've just got to go ballistic for it. So that's 161. Winter formula, will catch all species, perfect for the method, and just brilliant. Okay, we've looked how this bait works. Richard's been one of our main field testers this year on it. Richard, you've caught hundreds of pounds of fish, possibly thousands of pounds. Absolutely. What can you tell us about it? It's a very easy mix to replicate. It only takes five minutes. And uh, one thing I would recommend you to do is actually have two mixes during the course of a five hour match. Yeah, I've said that before. Um, a lot of people mix a whole bag up then throw half of it away because they don't use it. There is no need. And plus the fact, obviously a fresh mix, um, you've still got more of the amino acids working and we've got the sound attractants and everything's working together. So, good tip. That's a Have good two tip. mixes rather than one. Definitely don't mix it the night before. Definitely <laughs> not, no. Okay. No. It's also a brilliant paste bait as well. Okay, I know you've caught lots and lots of fish on paste. What do you do different when you paste fishing? Well, I add a slightly more water to it, about a three to one instead of a two to one mix. Okay, so a three to one gives you a slower breakdown with paste. Brilliant paste bait. That's correct. Okay, what else have you been doing with it? Um, I know you've used it in the feeder as well. I've been using it in the feeder. It's brilliant in an open-ended feeder. So three or four feet of water, it's a two to one. Two to one. Six or seven foot of water, you're coming up two and a half to one, is that? That's is right, and, and if you want it to slow down slightly more, just squeeze it a little bit harder. Okay, so you're obviously in total control. It looks That's really right. good as it comes out, that, this method. Okay, I'm gonna time you this time. Let's just see if we can catch one, quickly. <laughs> What about the species? I know you just caught a skimmer there, and in fact, most of what you've caught have been carp, haven't they? That's um, right, that's right. I've caught all species on this bait, and I can see it being really, really good in the, in the winter. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about the size of the molecules, and this is important. A lot of baits in the winter freeze up. Um, one of the special things about this, what the Mariku scientists have worked on, is what we call free-flowing molecules, and uh, they just make it deadly. Well, that's the FG161. Absolutely incredible, devastating, and a bait that's been specifically made for winter fishing. Oh, not another one. I'm afraid so, Roy. <laughs> this bait will have to be banned before we launch it. I think it's it'll, be, be, I think it'll be on our banned list. <laughs> <laughs>